So when I dove into that world, I had a really unexpected gift in that my sessions with a couple of play partners that I had became extremely healing. And we were actually able to reenact, and this is why we call them scenes, we were able to reenact the abuse, but have a different outcome. And because we were able to have that at such a deep core level, very tangible, very kinesthetic, it unraveled the trauma from my body. And for the first time, I was able to actually feel excited about life. And I realized that I'd been depressed all the time prior to that because I suddenly was able to look out and I'd be looking out at the gray skies and think, wow, that's kind of pretty. And I'd never had that kind of experience before. So it was incredibly healing for me. And it's not what you necessarily think of from the outside, but because of that deep healing, I, I wanted to take other people on that journey. So that was where I stepped in to learn how to become a dominatrix. And th this is what's interesting. The way you describe that, that actually parallels what I'm aware of as our, with, without getting into the kink part, some psychological processes, rebirthing and other ways mm -hmm. where you actually relive critical parts in your life and you make a new choice. But you did yeah. it actually, as you said, kinesthetically with these scenes. Yeah. It, and it's, and when you do the, at that level, like it gets in kind of at the cellular level. Now, you know, just as well as I do that when you're, um, when you start working on the energy level, you can affect it just the same way without having to take people through that deeper transformation with, you know, with pain and whatnot, which is good because it's actually a lot of physical work <laughs> to take somebody through a kink scene and it can be two, three hours long. So it's a, it's a little more efficient to do it with the energy work now.